Hi, we're Jess and John from True Blue Travellers. Spend 48 hours with us while we work on our van build, visit friends and enjoy life in Australia. Good morning and welcome back. Um, we've been in Australia a week now today, so uh, we're starting to feel a little bit more normal, yeah. shaking off some of the travel bits. Sleeping properly now and eating properly, or someone is. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's really nice. They've still got a massive great cold sore. Thanks, plane. Um, but yeah, this week we are most of the way there with getting our materials and stuff. So hopefully we can really start to make some progress on the van. Um, and I'm gonna nip off today and see one of my friends for the night, leaving John slaving away. So we'll, uh, we'll show you what we get up yeah, to this week. Let's go. <laughs> so next job is I've got to get the solar on the roof. So this is aluminium roof rack so there's no grating on it so we've only got these bars to run on so what i've done is i've got some 40 by 6 aluminium strips so i'm going to run two of them along uh, to mount the solar to and then i've also got to mount the water and diesel jerry can holder so we can carry 20 litres of spare diesel and we're going to have probably 40 litres in the van of water but we'll carry another spare 20 on the roof. So, let's get on with it. Time to get the panels on. She's not going to be happy with me. Oh, are you going to be able to lift these? Am I going to be able to lift it? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, for the love of God, John. Oh. Why don't you do them one at a time? Oh. No, that's not going to happen. Always do stuff like this. It's quicker. Oh. Yeah, until we die. Get everything. Whoa, whoa! What page are here. Turn around. Where's I put the pen? You do realise you've got your shirt on inside out. Yeah, I know, but then you won't get dirt. Where's the pen? What are you doing, the edit? Yeah. Oh, hello. So got the solar and the jerry cans on. I'll show you that. There's the solar. So I've got 360 watts of solar. So that should uh, should be pretty good. And then I say diesel cans there, and then I'm gonna have a fan in there, right under the underneath the bed. Next job, I'm gonna get this bag. We got this bag the other day. It's like a tarpaulin bag, like um, yeah, like, like curtain side of material. And it's quite big. It's meant to be a spare wheel carrier. So if you can motor, you just put it over and it hangs there, but obviously we haven't got one. So what I'm going to do is just get a bit of aluminium and then put it through there and then basically bolt a bit of aluminium on there. The bag dump, it's looking good. Um, so the reason we use this bag is we've used it to put our rubbish in um, obviously because we've only got a really little a uh, really little bin in the van so it's great to be able to chuck it in because you might not always be near a bin when you want to get rid of stuff and John and I said ever since we started wild camping that our little kind of payback if you like is anywhere we wild camp we stop and we do a little pick so we always have one of these on the back of the van because then we can fill it up with any rubbish so yeah she's a beauty
the shops, wandering around for ages because I'm trying to find a bottle of wine to take to my friend's house. Can't find it. And I remember, they don't sell wine or any kind of alcohol in a normal supermarket here. You have to go to a liquor shop. Mad. However, they do also do drive through liquor stores here. Seriously. The sign on the left is a fire danger rating sign. You might have seen them in some of our other clips. They're all over Australia. Bushfires are a huge issue here and were one of my greatest fears when I lived out in the country. The signs give a rating from moderate to catastrophic, and catastrophic basically means run. Got another few jobs done. So we've got the fridge vent in, so the fridge can stay nice and cool. And then I've got the tow bar all painted. And then I took the tow ball off, and then I'm gonna have a little shackle on there. So if we get bogged, we can get pulled out like that. And then I started tinting the windows. So I've got two done. I've just got the little one to do, the back, and then all this side as well. So I, uh, I got it priced up to somebody to do it and it was going to be $500 plus they were going to charge me extra to get the old tints off because it leaves loads of glue on the window. So it's probably been about $700 whereas me to buy the tint, I think the tint was $100. So yeah, save me a fortune but uh, still it's a bit of a chore of a job. So today we're heading out of the Perth metro area and to the wheat belt the great southern area of the wheat belt I'm going to see some wonderful friends of mine who live just outside a town called Narragin. they breed ponies and have lots of lovely animals and i spent loads of my childhood there and absolutely love it so i hope you will too I got the back window on, uh, with the tint on, and it ripped just as I was finishing it. So, but luckily, and I've done enough to do it again. So, yeah, don't look too shabby. But um, see what it's like in the morning. Hello, everyone. So yesterday was a good day. Um, got all the jobs done that look good: solar, tints, jerry cans on the back. But today's not going to be one of them days. Uh, so today I'm going to take all the wheels off, check all the wheel bearings, check all the brakes, everything like that. I'll probably spray the wheels while they're off as well. Loads of little jobs that need doing, but you won't really see much from it. So, but let's get on.
What do you reckon? Not too bad, eh? They came up better than I thought. I know they're gonna not, not gonna last too long, but uh, it'll do for now. But as I was doing it, I noticed that the front pads are getting a bit low. So I'll get a set of pads and stick them on. And uh, last time we came, we went to Exmouth and we borrowed uh, Jess's dad's patrol, old patrol. We went up there and the brakes went on it there. And doing it weren't too bad, but like to get parts is quite expensive in rural areas. So I'll buy them now, put them on. And also the other day when I was doing the cam belt, I noticed the fan belt was starting to perish. So I'll get one of them, but I'll stick that on and then just keep the old one as a spare. Yeah, I'm just watching that video of Bryce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's so funny. She thinks she's going to be a singer, doesn't she? Oh, oh, it's the way she's giving it, like, they're like, a hip wiggle and everything. Yeah. Oh, so funny. See you later. They're brilliant. Like the posties over here, they don't walk about. They've got them little things there. But he was just saying that uh, in the sun, in the winter, it's brilliant because he gets to cruise about. But summer, well, you see him then, like it's 30, 35 degrees today and he's zipping about in that. But uh, yeah, brilliant. When I was like, living over here, I'd either work at Bunnings or I'd be a postie. lining on so that's looking pretty good and then we're just going to curve the wood over it'll sit in there we'll screw it to the top of the batten and into the next bit and uh, we're going to do it out of three mil ply just because then we get the most headroom and also to get the curve so if we do it any thicker we'll lose a bit of space and like i can't quite stand up on it but jess pretty much can so it's good enough so yeah, I've done that. Uh, now I'm just going to cut the panels and then board the sides so you don't see any of that wiring and then we can carpet over it. So I haven't got a table saw or a panel saw or anything like that. It's not even a track saw, so I've had to make my own track. So I just use a bit of 12mm ply and then with the factory edge I cut a bigger piece and a smaller piece and then screwed the smaller piece to that. But if you leave it a bit wider than your circular, uh, your circular saw and then you just run your circle your saw along and cut a new nice edge and then that'll be square all the way along so if you need to cut a big long board you just put it on a mark there put it on a mark there and then run your circular saw across and then every time it'll be nice and square but the only thing is Jess saw me doing it and then she was like well when we get home you can get rid of your panel saw your table saw and all that and you can just have that so I had to come up with a few excuses for why we need that. Oh yeah, and shout out to Ray for lending me his cordless tools. He's lent me loads of his Ryobi gear, so cheers Ray. Oh yeah, and if you're from the UK and you're a mechanic and you come out here to work, you gotta watch out with your tools. You leave them outside, it's not like the UK. You come out to a mere and they'll burn your hands as soon as you pick them up. But I'm sure the Aussies love watching you do that for the first time. That's my little dance because I've got the diff. So it's been an absolute nightmare trying to get hold of a diff. I couldn't find part numbers, then I got someone that give me a part number and then they wouldn't be able to fit it. So, but I've just found somebody, a real a local company, brilliant family run business that uh, he's found me the diff and he can fit me whenever. So I've just got to get it from over east. So hopefully within the next 14 days and we get that fitted.
because I've had the most wonderful time and uh, John's been at home slaving away the whole time so I am feeling a bit guilty for how much work he's been doing. Um, I've had to come out and get some supplies but uh, I've taken a little detour. As far as the eye can see. Now this was our this was our local beach when we lived here and like I said I used to come here every day and there'd be nobody on it and it just amazes me like a lot of Aussies it's strange when I used to work here a lot of the Aussies never used to go to the beach whereas every day without fail I used to go so let's go for a little dip I forget why I left it now. just taken her out for a treat I've gone to the old chicken treat but um, they do quite a few different places here like compared to England like they do chicken treat red rooster they used to have one called chooks in which for anyone who doesn't know chook is like an Australian slang word for chicken yeah but um, yeah so we're just getting that but we're also right next to the chicken treat is uh, what Jess was saying about earlier uh, it's called BWS beers wines and spirits and uh, I'll show you it now and basically it's a drive-through where you just drive through, you tell the bird or the bloke what you want, it goes and gets it, and then it sticks it in your car. So you don't have to get out, and yeah, you just get all your alcohol like that. And like that, I just think that's crazy really to be able to do that. And I don't know, it just seems strange, doesn't it? Like, they even have um, like they heat the beer in the fridge and stuff, so it's cold when yeah. you drive through, and like all the wines are supposed to be kept cold and alcohol pops and stuff. It's all cold when you go through one of those. I used to work late and we'd finish at 10 o'clock and my mate Mickey D, we used to, he used to say, I'll oh, drive through the bottle -o. So we'd go to the bottle -o, literally, I'd pull through, I was driving, he'd get a beer, he'd take it from him, crack it open and he'd be drinking it on the way home. So, but yeah, just mental. Just, yeah, it really it baffles me. But uh, anyways. Yeah, but, I've never seen it anywhere else in the world. No, anyway. Again, I'd love to know if it, any other countries do it. Yeah, like that. well tell us if you've seen one anywhere yeah. other than Australia, we'd yeah. love to know. But, uh, but we're going to leave you there tonight anyway, so we're going to eat our food, but uh, we'll see you in the morning. See you later. Yeah, we'll show you how it works. I know it's not rocket science, but... Hiya! Uh, can I please get a six pack of Han Super Dry? Please, a cold one ideally. Thanks. Uh. Yep, no worries. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Mental. <laughs>